What's going on? Real Estate Randy here with another video for you today. And today we're going to be talking about is the housing market bubble about to burst? Now, if that sounds interesting to you, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, first we need to figure out what the housing bubble is. And the way that it is defined by Investopedia is a housing bubble or real estate bubble is a run-up in housing prices fueled by demand, speculation, and exuberant spending to the point of collapse. Housing bubbles usually start with an increase in demand in the face of limited supply, which takes a relatively extended period to replenish and increase. Speculators pour money into the market, further driving up demand. At some point, demand decreases or stagnates at the same time that the supply increases, resulting in a sharp drop in prices and then the bubble bursts. And Investopedia's key takeaways from this is a housing bubble is a sustained but temporary condition of overvalued prices and rampant speculation in the housing markets. Okay, the U.S. experienced a major housing bubble in the 2000s caused by inflows of money into housing market, loose lending conditions, and government policies to promote home ownership. A housing bubble, as with any other bubble, is a temporary event that has the potential to happen to any market at any time when the condition allows it. So, now that we have an understanding of what the housing bubble is, let's talk about what caused the housing bubble to crash in 2008. A lot of the information I got came from this great blog called SeekingAlpha.com, and I will have the link in the description if you would like to read the article in its entirety. But for the sake of time, I'm going to make it as easy as I can to understand. Okay? So financial institutions were very liberal with their lending practices, that they were basically doing their best impersonation of Oprah and gave everyone and anyone a home loan, whether they could realistically afford the homes or not. Basically, it was like, everybody look under your chairs. That's right. You get a loan. You get a loan. Everybody gets a loan. I'm sorry. I probably shouldn't have done that. So, basically, the Federal Reserve's chairman made the interest rates super low and paired that with the fact that financial institutions were making it super easy to get a home loan. It led to 20% of mortgages in 2005 and 2006 belonging to borrowers who would have not qualified in previous years. These borrowers were called subprime borrowers, and a third of their loans were adjustable rate loans. So they had low rates for the first two to three years, and then by year three and four, they were hit with huge increases in their monthly mortgage costs due to the rates skyrocketing, which you can imagine led to million of foreclosures. Which brings us today, with much of the government aid about to stop, could we be heading in the same direction? Well, in 2008, many homeowners were underwater. They basically owed more than the home was now worth. Today, that's not really the situation. Most homeowners are sitting on a ton of equity thanks to the rise of prices and many of the lenders are allowing homeowners who were in deferment programs to roll their deferred payments to the end of their loan, which helps them from being in the position where they would have to go into foreclosure. And for those who don't have those options, and they can't repay their loan, they do still have an amazing opportunity to sell their home in this crazy hot market. So now, how long will this market will last? That's the big question. Well, there really isn't a clear answer to this, but I will say this. Once we see interest rates increase, we should see a sort of calming of the home prices. There are also some talks right now in government to talk uh, as far as adjusting the loan to value ratio for buyers which would make it more difficult for buyers to qualify for higher mortgages, which in turn should slow the rising prices simply because buyer demand won't be there. Now, obviously, there are still buyers that are going to have cash and they can handle that uh, loan to value gap that they have to cover. But for most buyers, they're not sitting in those types of situations. So the big question is, when is it going to bust? I personally believe, and this is not, I, I, I can't obviously be 100% uh, certain or anything like that, but I, possibly, I, I believe that we're not going to see anything quite like we saw in 2008. Yes, there might be some foreclosures, but I do not see um, a situation, at least in the near future, where the market is going to burst. Now, ask me two years from now, my answer could be different. Well, 
that's going to do it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got some information. Like I said, everything that I researched, I will have the links in the description below. If you want to go in an more depth dive into the information, uh, feel free uh, to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Well, like I always say, I hope you have a great day and always remember to stay safe.